uh, this is extreme cases, which means before and after. Which one do we prefer for the um, zirconia cases? So number one is patient don't like this about the gum color, and then um, looks like the disease. Okay, and second, so we change it the gum, and also we. I notice it. This one is this overglaze. Okay, and um, it's really hydrated, and um, then I see there's some kind of a stain here, and it's more problems. With this hygiene, you cannot make like that. Otherwise, patient can get a lot of food trap. And then here's the lower, right? So what we did, we trying to narrow down as, as clean as possible, even though here is a long span and a good integer. And also we make this great color and contour. And uh, with a nice smooth, the same thing is monolithic here, but just subtle porcelain outside, very little. Now, same thing is lower. See the lower as we clean it? Certain areas we have to protect it the when they are smiling we have to show them so this is the final our aesthetics. So which one do we prefer from this aid implant? And um, they have a decent wax try in from that. Right? This cause from the here, even though they made the thick, so we have to make the even thinner. But compared to this, this is a really bad. So I don't recommend it. Okay, so so now it's differences here with the um, technician from this and that. And um, texture wise, glazing method, proper temperature, proper cooling time. So this is a huge differences between the, the fake restoration and um, this is lower. All right. So like I said, the huge problem is the underneath. So patient can get a lot of food trap so they cannot clean it. So they can have the, um, you know, smells is bad. But that one is the it's not good, avoid number one. Number two, about the gum color, which is disease looking. And uh, number three, high glazing. There's no individual cut it. And there's the over glazing. And then number three, and then here they follow exactly the denture tooth cut lingual format, which is the natural tooth is more the lingual contour, just like that. You know what I'm saying? So we make the single loom is better. So we made this better lingual contour, looks like the teeth. So number four, why I made this? We have to get the correct centric stop, the occlusion, contact. So when they patient chew together, right? and then move it, okay? And then they can get the, the better um, digest. So here is the, we set up this one, and then screw down, okay? And then I just wanna show you the, what is the differences between the, the occlusion contact not only occlusion contact and the final restoration. So this is the final will be. Okay, so here is the bite. You see occlusion contact. It's good. So now we articulate with here. And um, this so patient can get the fully settle the occlusion not only aesthetics 
but also occlusion can chew correctly, right? So this is a, another you know, fifth problem is this occlusion contact only touching it inside your one third. That meaning is patient do not have any room for protruding for freedom. So we will cause as the more cracking problem. And then here's another issue too. There is no envelope functions, which is canine rise too. Here's higher, here's lower. So which is a little slant canine, you, you don't get any canine rise occlusion. And then one side higher, and then one side lower, okay? So we have a Corbo of Speed and Wilson problem. So not only that, the lower, just follow exactly. I know people said copy mill. This is not copy mill. This is really ugly. This is the final, final great aesthetics. Screw retained, hybrid zirconia cases, which is called Cyton 4000. Thanks for watching my video.